Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at ID World in Rio de Janeiro and I'm joined by Bill Parnell. Bill, good to see you again. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for the invitation. Interesting day, enjoyed? Uh, absolutely. Th this is a unique forum uh, where we can, we can come to one place and meet a lot of our, mm. uh, our customer base from all over the world. So we just uh, listen to the Postal Innovation Forum. Um, so we have people from from Africa, from uh, really all over the world that yeah. that uh, are innovative. They're making changes, and uh, so what, it's a great place for us to hear the voice of the customer. Yeah, absolutely. And voice of customer is really important. And and to me, I'm always amazed how many of the of the of the government organisations we see here talking about the programs they're developing and what's going on there. And I think that's really really connected. In terms of the impact that has on your on your business and what's going on specifically, perhaps. In this region, what 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 kind of ideas is that is that promoting in your mind, or is it confirming yeah. at least? You know, I, th I think what we're learning is is that we shouldn't be in the position to impose technology on mm -hmm. the customer base. We really need to listen, pay attention, understand their needs, and then come to the market with solutions. Mm -hmm. And and so there's a lot of talk right now about uh, big data, uh, basically analytics. And we're moving from just looking at the data to understanding more in a predictive sense you know, why things are happening and what the next steps are so that we can optimize the process and, and develop uh, solutions that truly really meet those needs. Mm. And we're, we're hearing, I mean, I do a lot of work in the electronics industry, for example, and we're, we're hearing more and more talk about s the supply chain that supports that industry and less talk about the technology within the industry. Supply chain seems to be a really important element of manufacturing and fulfillment at the moment. True, true. It, it's interesting to look at both the supply side and the demand side. Mm. Uh, on the demand side, things are changing very, very rapidly. Uh, you know, if you look at, uh, at what's happening, you know, a company like Walmart does mm. one million transactions per hour. Wow. Uh, so the numbers are incredible, and there's a lot to be learned from that data. Um, you know, Facebook is, is processing 50 billion photographs from their social media base. Uh, so, so, you know, with all with the advent of smartphones and, and mm. kind of these uh, demand demand side activities, it's really putting pressure on the supply side to to keep pace. And, yeah. and it's it's requiring us to develop new technologies. So the days of, of uh, laser based data collection, reading barcodes. Uh, we're, we're shifting from that to image-based or camera-based technology, and, and with that comes a new flood of data, whether mm. it's signature capture or video, uh, you know, just just a tremendous change in the industry now, now all trying to keep pace with the, uh, the demand yeah. side. Yeah, yeah, and we were ta I was talking to someone earlier today about data, and um, we were really talking about the fact that perhaps data needs to be collected as effortlessly as possible and then processed as intelligently as possible. And it's, it's matching those two things because there are some environments where historically collecting data has, has really been a bit of a drain. It's you know, a waste of resource. Take, for example, the, uh, the, the hospitals, for example, mm -hmm. where you've got doctors typing data and that's not what we want the doctors to be doing but we still want that data. True, true. It's interesting to see how some of the technologies developed and, and deployed in retail are making their way into healthcare, into mm. government, uh, into a, a lot of applications that, that uh, you would have thought that healthcare would be further along, for example. Mm. We, we all wish they were. When we go to visit our doctor, we wish we had a perfect match between our medication and, and us as a patient and, and the record. Uh, so, so tremendous opportunity there, yeah. and uh, that's part of what DataLogic is doing these days: is moving beyond retail, moving beyond laser technology, and in, into imaging, into manufacturing and logistics, and TNL and, and government. And, mm. uh, so, it's part of why we're we're getting closer to the market in Brazil as yeah. well as tremendous opportunity here. Yeah, and I think the med tech industry, as you say, is interesting. It, it, I think it does see itself as a little bit luddite in terms of its technology but it's becoming consumerized in terms of what it delivers. People have got their own blood glucose meters, they've got their own devices and consumables now. So that market's changing and that, that must present some challenges and hopefully opportunities. Precisely, I mean, there, there's still a big need for standards mm -hmm. uh, so that, that uh, as we've discussed during the sessions the last couple, the last day, um, unless there are standards so you can go across borders and, and your identity is passing mm -hmm. from one gate to another gate um, seamlessly 
then, then, then there's still issues, still problems. Mm -hmm. uh, likewise in healthcare, if, if one hospital is doing something a different way from another hospital, it's problematic. So part of our challenge is to develop those standards. Yeah, those backbones, those protocols that make everything connect together. Right. And um, there must be there must be some substantial regional variations that that creates challenges for a company like DataLogic. How do you deal with that, and how do you penetrate a market like South America or specifically Brazil, for example? I think you really have to be there. You have mm. to have a you know a, a close customer relationship. Uh, we have that in retail today with a lot of the tier one uh, retailers. So. I think more than 50% of the market in Latin America in retail, food retail, is, is held by Walmart, uh, Casino, and Carrefour. Mm -hmm. But they're starting to lose some market share and it's the domestic uh, retailers that are coming up and, and getting stronger. And we need to be closer to them. Right. And so that's why we're investing in Latin America and, and uh, adding people that, that are not just selling product or imposing technology but mm. listening yeah. and, and understanding the needs in the local markets. Okay, and, and do you do that through organic growth or do you do that through acquisition? How do you, how do you do that it's really both. region by region? It's, it's really both. Um, we're growing in, uh, in China right now quite a bit and, and, it, and it's, it's organic growth to date but I think in the not too distant future you'll see some mm. inorganic growth there via yeah. acquisition. If we want to, to be truly global and international, we have to move a little bit faster. Uh, so we're willing to invest. In, in Brazil, we're, we're investing uh, locally in our own service and warehousing and, and at least light manufacturing, again, so we can better meet the needs of customers. Okay, and your customers are aggressively international and they are growing aggressively internationally. So I guess you have to, you have to support that and reflect that. Absolutely, uh, and, and it's always a mix. It's, it's interesting. Uh, you know, Casino came into Brazil and, and bought uh, Pau de Azucar, mm -hmm. uh, so, so they have a lot, a lot of local management that understands the market here, but some very uh, talented international people who know how to, to add infrastructure and mm -hmm. grow and, and add processes and systems that will serve them well going forward. Um, we, we have to stay close to, that, to those individuals. And, and listen, develop products that make yeah. sense. Yeah, and you have to, like you say, bring in those global best practices, but listen right. to that local voice of the customer. Exactly. Yeah. Bill, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for stopping by for a chat, and enjoy the rest of the yeah, event. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you very you. much.